electric seal. So just about to start a third charging session with the cold battery. I have here 180 kilowatts uh, CCS fast charger and my state of charge at the beginning is 18%. Let's see what the seal is able to pull today. As you know my previous two tests were, weren't that successful with the cold battery. But let's see if we have a better luck today. So this is the third time I do this cold battery test. Let's see what we can pull from this, this uh, 180 kilowatts charger to the seal battery. Okay, now we get the first charging power. It's um, solid 58 kilowatts. The outside temperature is, uh, I think, minus one degree. It has been the same as in the previous days. Uh, now charging power 75. So this is at least a promising start for this charging session compared to my previous tests where the power was ramping down um, and staying uh, at below 60 kilowatts. And the charger is reporting 83 kilowatts at the moment. So yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty solid. Hopefully it continues that way. And now we are charging at over 90 kilowatts power. It's, I think it's uh, better than I expected after my two previous tests. Of course it's still not uh, nowhere near the top speed, top charging powers that the seal supports. But, but given the cold battery once again, I think this looks actually pretty good now. And getting closer to 100 kilowatts, it's now 94 what the car reports and probably the charger is reporting very close to 100 kilowatts if not over already so let's see if if it continues climbing from here so 95.5 kilowatts i think that is the peak power so far and the state of charge is already getting closer to half full battery so uh, yeah, I think it. I think it's pretty solid. This is what we want to see from the seal. So go seal, go. The state of charge is fifty-one percent, and the power is still ninety-five kilowatts. So it's nice and flat curve this time. So you may wonder what is the difference versus my previous tests. Well, in terms of the battery temperature or driven distance before the charging session, there really isn't any difference. I haven't driven more than 10 kilometers before arriving to the charger, so that is also equal what it was previously. But the difference is state of charge at the time of charging. So, so previously it was around 50%. Uh, now it was 18 percent. It's the biggest difference here. Um, usually the LFP doesn't require the low state of charge for the high charging power. Uh, unlike uh, NMC, NCA batteries. But maybe at cold temperatures it still makes a difference with LFP as well. That might be one explanation. Uh, those of you who know better about the battery chemistry and the technology, please feel free to comment. Of course, it could be also about the charger. Now, this is not the ABC charger or chem power. This is uh, different uh, charger, charger technology and different charging operator. So that is also another, another difference here. Already 62% state of charge and still going steady 95 kilowatts. Still looking good. Now it's dropping a bit at 64%. It uh, went down to 83 kilowatts. 75% and 80 kilowatts. Still pretty solid power coming in. So the car is soon ready ready to go. I'm still uh, doing the doing the shopping. The battery is getting quite full, 82% already and still pulling 
over 80 kilowatts. I must say that I'm positively surprised by this charging curve today. All right, now getting back to the car. And let's see what the car reports now with almost full battery. So 47 uh, kilowatts, uh, sorry, the charger is reporting 47 kilowatts. And, um, the battery starts to be pretty full. It's uh, at 85%. So um, yeah, that's a pretty solid charging session. I will now end this, um, this charging and head back home. So this was the uh, result of the charging, uh, 64 kilowatts in 45 minutes. So based on quick calculation, that's around 85 kilowatts uh, average power. And uh, that's now exceeding my expectations, definitely uh, with the cold battery. And after two quite challenging charging sessions, this one now was much better. Uh, maybe due to the low state of charge at the beginning of charging, that is the really the only difference. Um, and of course, different charger than last time. Uh, but yeah, uh, this is how the fast charging should go. Uh, to me, this was um, uh, fast enough. Of course, it would be nice to top 100 kilowatts. Uh, maybe we did top it uh, if you look at the power that the charger is outputting, the car was receiving 95.6, I think, to the battery. Uh, pretty good. This is, um, if every charging session would be like this, it, with the cold battery, of course, in the summer, it, 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 is, it is faster. And then we can reach 130, 150 kilowatts. Um, um, but um, in the winter conditions, when the temperature is uh, around zero degrees, um, I think charging session like this is a pretty good, pretty good result. So um, this was another charging test. Uh, hopefully you find this useful. If you are considering uh, getting the seal and you want to understand it, what, what it is capable of and what are the limitations. Hopefully this information is valuable for you. If it is, please hit that subscribe button or comment or like the video. All, all of that is much appreciated. So that's uh, all for now. So until next time.